Hi, welcome to Dog and Pony. I'm Vince Thompson. Moving can be a nightmare. It's timely, it's costly, and all those cardboard boxes, well, they're actually hurting the environment. Spencer Brown is the founder of rentagreenbox.com and the inventor of the Rico Pack, an alternative he believes will eliminate the need for standard cardboard boxes when moving. Welcome to Dog and Pony. Thanks, Vince. Thanks for having me. Will you go a little deeper, help us understand the genesis of your company and what it does for consumers today? What we do is we've reinvented the cardboard moving box from plastic trash we buy from landfills. We agree on a date and a two-hour window time, and then our truck that drives on waste vegetable oil and biofuel will show up at your location. We give you a packing demonstration, and we see on the, the, the next stop. So wherever you move to, we pick them back up. How many boxes would I need to move my 2,000-square-foot house? How many people are living in your house? That's the first question we ask. So if you have two people, about 25 boxes per person. And we make three sizes. So we have boxes for your bedding, we have boxes for your books, and we have boxes for everything else. Okay, so I've seen them on the website. They look like plastic boxes, right? but they're not. There's some difference in plastic. Not all plastic's the same. What we're doing is taking a plastic bottle from the landfill, which is a bleach bottle. So the plastic that they've made to contain bleach is like a miracle plastic. So what we've been able to do is take the plastic out, clean it, sort it with lasers, and then I apply nanotechnology to the plastic, making it really strong, and then we're able to squeeze out these boxes. But the beauty is they last 400 times. You started out as a product designer. Right. Still am. So was this all about building the world's best box before the business model, renting and shipping boxes around? I'm that crazy. I believe in making something remarkable. And that off authentic uh, approach to product design is what's missing in a lot of our products because people just have that disposable mentality. Are people motivated to choose your service because it's green or because of the other value that it delivers? Our customers aren't even green. I am their first green business experience, so I take that very seriously. People are not conditioned to buy green. Maybe in 20 years, they'll have a full understanding of what it is to buy green, but people want to save time and money, and we provide that. We're gonna, the average two-person residence will save 20 hours with my system. You can stack eight high in the truck, so now you don't need a big truck, you can have a smaller truck, saving you money. How'd you capitalize the business? Uh, I made a lot of money on my other inventions. Truly, to be an entrepreneur, you have to be at that point where you put it all out there. It makes me wake up in the morning and I think, I don't think I need my money back. I think I am out there <laughs> and it's, it's motivating. What's the company going to look like in another four years? We're going to eliminate the cardboard box. Uh, five years, 10 million boxes, for sure. Detox the landfills, we provide people a solution, we save them time and money, and they get to feel good about doing something for the environment. After you solve the cardboard box problem, Mm -hmm. What's next? For the company, what we've solved is a lot of other problems. We've, we've, we've reinvented the moving pallet made from baby diapers called the poopy pallet. And now this pallet is being talked around the world because it eliminates the need for a wooden pallet. Trash guy said, oh, I've got a few million bottle caps made from plastic. I'm making zip ties from it. Recycling newspaper creates a lot of sludge, so I reinvented a compostable packing peanut. It's called the Rico Cube. You pack, you move, you throw it in your garden, feed your trees, it breaks down. And then we made a bag out of used sailboat cloth, and then we take aluminum cans and make dollies. <laughs> so we have nine products made from trash. That's great. Okay, now what's next is we're gonna take the plastic, the patent, and we're, gonna pl- we're going to apply it to a, a cardboard-esque type box, and we're gonna sell advertisement on the outside, and we're gonna flood the marketplace for Amazon, FedEx, UPS, DHL, all the big carriers will get behind it. What worries you? What worries me is that we just can't keep up. I know that now. I'm scared. (laughs) I wasn't scared until about six months ago. I'm scared now because we have people from all over the world, from Dubai and France and Canada, and we've had people fly in. We've had some very famous people fly in and just want to see what we do. Have you ever been compared to Willy Wonka? No. um, Do you have Oompa Loompas helping you out somewhere? (laughs) I wish, but they'd be green, so we'd have to have a different name. I think I take the most pride from this business for every 100 Rico packs that I rent. We take out 500 pounds of trash. We prevent 350 pounds of trash going into landfills. We save 50 gallons of gas, 300 gallons of drinkable water, and we eliminate 2,500 pounds of carbon dioxide emission entering the atmosphere, and we save three trees. People think, what a brilliant idea, and that's the biggest compliment I can get. Well, that's fantastic. Spencer Brown, thank you so much for being on Dog and Pony. As always, if you have questions, comments, or ideas, please email 
info at dogandpony.com. I'm Vince Thompson. Thanks for watching.